Hey, you may hear some people say, oh, I've got hard water. And we're going to try to give a little, shed some light on what it actually means. Today, what it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean ice or ice fishing, fishing in the hard water. Hard water has to refer to water here that contains a lot of minerals in it. And it can present some challenges uh, to people in piping systems here. So hard water is water that contains elevated levels of calcium and magnesium, typically above 150 milligrams of calcium carbonate per liter. That kind of limestone uh, it, deposits can be located in soil. And what hard water forms when water passes through these limestone deposits is you typically be in the soil. Kind of the unscientific way to test for hard water, we identified water that will not allow soap to form bubbles uh, when mixed or added. Uh, that's because of the calcium high levels of calcium magnesium that it contains. So it can damage metal fittings. So this is important. If you're running an irrigation system, it can cause some issues with the fittings that you may have over time. It can also result in buildup or calcification. So here we can see the outline of a pipe here, and we can see the layers that it build up and how small the diameter is of this pipe. So now that you have all this buildup in here, this is also reducing your flow. And this can be important if you're looking at maximizing uh, movement of water and planning out an irrigation system. This can severely restrict it and can cause issues in the total volume that you're getting to your plants. Can have, hard water can also have high sodium levels, which can lead to nutrient deficiencies. Chlorine is needed by the plants, but only in small quantities. Think about like a small pinch of salt. You don't want to be adding spoonfuls of salt here because it can really mess with the cation exchange capacity. So while chlorine is needed, it's not needed in very high amounts in plants. High amounts can damage plants. Now lastly, watch for high levels of chlorine and or chlor chlorinamide, sorry, since this can kill beneficial microbes that you may be trying to add or trying to propagate. So when we're looking at hard water or sometimes treatment of that, if you have high levels of chlorine, you can be uh, damaging microbes that you're directly adding to your water before you even apply it to your plants. Especially if you're considering using uh, organic compost teas or other microbe additions, you know, it might keep a plate nice and sterile, but if you're adding um, with the intention of adding these microbes, you add it to water that contains high level chlorine or these other um, sterilants, you can be basically killing the good microbes that you're trying to add.